I don't even know why I'm recording this because I don't think I'm going to do anything with it but you know me I just like to keep a journal we just viewed a flat that is like absolutely perfect we weren't really thinking about moving until like September-ish like that's kind of our benchmark but we've been looking and I haven't really spoken about it because I don't really want to share that part of the process evil eye and all of that and you know there's not much to share it's definitely the top end of our budget but it's got a beautiful garden and we saw it and the pitch just didn't do it justice on the listing so we were the first to view it i feel like it went really well i've just applied we've made an application i just i just like know it's ours like i just know it's ours i don't even know if i'm gonna put this footage anywhere i just wanted to document it because i feel so cautiously optimistic the renting situ in brighton and hove is like so cutthroat and so competitive so i don't feel that wedge to it despite how nice it was i just firmly believe that the right thing will come to us and the right thing will be available for us so i won't feel devastated if we don't get it it was just really nice and yeah it's just beautiful so i just wanted to log my feelings as they were coming in Basically it's been about two weeks maybe since I filmed that clip of us going to the viewing and obviously if this is any indication this whole video but we got the flat which is amazing. Literally found out the next day that we'd got it um, and then we have to go through all the referencing and all the paperwork. I'm not gonna lie I haven't really like told anyone apart from like a very small handful of people that we're moving because I just don't, I don't really like tell people shit until it's done, until after the fact. So where are we at now? We've got about just under three weeks till we move. It's the start of July when I'm recording this. So we've been given a moving date. We've got just under three weeks. We've got so much to do, but so much of it we can't do till we're actually like moved in. So for the time being, I'm going to start like packing odds and ends. And I'm gonna take you along on the process with me. And I only have one giant moving box so far that I managed to steal from my work. Not steal, not theft, I'm not thieving from my workplace. I was allowed to take this box home. And I think what I'm gonna do next is pack up some books. We're in the spare room. You've probably never seen this before, but this is like where Doug's gaming setup is and where a lot of our like junk is. So a lot of books I've already read. A lot of like bigger books. This is kind of where I put everything that I've read that's not in my bedroom. So I'm just pulling a few bits out from here now. So I guess like if you don't know me or you haven't been before, welcome to my channel. My name's Charlotte. For some context, me and my partner live together with his parents and we have done that for honestly longer than I care to admit. The majority of our relationship and we are definitely closer to 10 years than closer to five. I know it's probably a big question like why didn't you move out sooner and honestly like I don't really have an answer we've been pretty content Covid happened we were able to save money we were like unsure on buying versus renting really in the last year that I think we've both realised that like we really want to move out <laughs> I'm 28 and my partner's 30 and I know for a lot of people that will be like a complete non-negotiable like living with your parents when you're 30 but you know what it was working out for us I won't hear any judgement of anyone on this side who does what I've done or anyone that's moved out early. I moved out of my childhood home when I was 18 and then I met my partner when I was 21. So I lived kind of like, I lived with a housemate and then by myself for a little bit um, for like three years. But now we found out we're moving and we're moving in three weeks and the countdown is on to packing. Doug's away in Germany watching the Euros so I thought I would get into this back room. Look at all these books. These aren't all mine, luckily. <laughs> I uh, thought I'd get into all these books and tidying while he was away. I'm definitely going to charity shop some of these books. Not all of them, but definitely anything Colleen Hoover I've got as I don't think I'll ever read that again. Obviously, we've lived at home for so many years. And when I moved, I previously lived in a place that was already furnished. So I didn't have a lot. A lot of what I had was double. So like I moved here and I didn't need a bed because Doug already had one and I preferred his bed. I didn't like my bed. So I got rid of a lot of my stuff. So we are suddenly faced with the fact that we have to buy a lot of things it's things like sofas that most 
30 year olds have accumulated but that we haven't you know it's that kind of stuff also we really haven't had the space to start buying stuff and like storing it at home because that's what i would have liked to have done but it just didn't work out like that and i just think you don't know what you want luckily i've been making a spreadsheet i'm not gonna lie since about september last year because this is kind of when we knew we were planning to move um, and I've been bookmarking stuff and saving things that we want so that it doesn't feel like a huge, huge, huge rush when we get to it. Honestly, I feel like I've jumped into this video without really talking about like the move much, but I can't tell you how excited I am. I can't tell you how much I feel like my content is going to improve so much. I'm going to have my own space to do all the kind of vlogging that I like to do with you all, which is the cooking vlogs and the the cosy like day to day vlogs. And also I'm going to vlog so much of like our decorating process and as our flat like kind of comes along and evolves and we've got a massive garden and I'm going to be able to do gardening vlogs and like all of that process. I'm just trying not to get too overwhelmed thinking about it because I honestly, I cried when we found out like I have so much gratitude in my heart. It's gonna be like quite a big lifestyle change for us. It's gonna be quite a big change to our finances. But it's fine because it's so, so absolutely worth it. It's like really little things, yeah. Like I just can't wait to walk around in my pants. This is like one of the most emotional books I've ever read in my life, by the way. I love this. I think it's one of my favorite books, but I will just never ever pick it up again from how upset it made me. I tabbed this book which I don't usually do so like even just revisiting some of my tabs I it like literally makes me feel a bit emotional. This is a rough read. Mmm mm, that is so heavy. Anyway it's coming with me for sure. There's loads of space in the middle for his book. So <laughs> my concern came true. I feel like these should be packed in smaller boxes because I can barely move this, let alone carry this down three flights of stairs. So we're a couple of days later. Um, not much longer, like maybe like two days later. And I've realized I definitely am gonna have to repackage those books because I really thought Doug might be able to carry it down the stairs, but I think maybe I just didn't realize quite how big it was. But we went to, where do we go? Home base. And I've picked up some extra strong, smaller book boxes. So I've got three and I'm gonna load them into there. I'm not gonna show you me repacking them because I think that's boring because you saw me pack the first box. But after that, I can show you some kitchen stuff turned up today and I'll show you what I got from ProCook. I also got from Home Base, you know, like these big laundry, like laundromat clothing bags. So they said they're from the moving section, but like you can put clothes and soft stuff in here for like blankets, sheets, and also quite a lot of our clothes because I haven't finished packing clothes um, and I've used up all of our suitcases that we need. So those are just gonna be for like soft bits and pieces. They weren't that expensive. They sell them at Dun Elm and stuff as well. So we got some of those. This book is actually much better suited for books. It packs everything much more nicely into it. So I'm glad I've got three of these. And I think I'll probably need the full three actually. I feel like this maybe isn't a super efficient use of space, but I'm gonna put all my coats in one of these because I have like a bunch of winter coats and cardigans that I'm not wearing. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep all of these, but they're really, really nice and a little bit not super warm. But they're not all like really heavily worn, so I honestly rather decide when we get there. I wear this like twice a year, but honestly it's too fabulous to let go and I've had it for so long. I feel really torn up about these because these are my brother's hoodies and my brother passed away like three years ago and I thought I would wear them and I haven't worn them, they're, but they're really nice. They're both like, one of them's Calvin Klein I think and one of them's Tommy Jeans and they don't really have, they do a bit. They smell like him a bit still, so I think I'm going to keep these. I'm still not super comfortable with the idea of like anyone else wearing them yet. I should have vacuum packed them, but I didn't really think about that. I didn't even really want to look at them when I got them, so. And then this is my favorite winter coat, but I really need to get it dry cleaned. Look, I don't know what's on it. Right, and one thing I've also just done, but didn't film was I packed up all my, well, not all of them, but a really huge percentage of my shoes into the massive box that originally had the books in. So I've got two and a half boxes full of books one box full of shoes. So this is some of the kitchen stuff that I ordered off ProCook. ProCook are like a home chef 
like kitchen, I'm just out of breath, sorry. Like kitchen website, shop, online shop. Kind of reminds me of steamer trading. If anyone remembers steamer trading, I don't think they exist anymore. So it's like home chefs, I think, and professional, like semi-professional. They do a lot of like restaurant style stuff. I will admit that it's not the cheapest in the world, but they do really good quality and like high quality sets. I mean, it's the kind of thing that some of their nice sets on there are like in the hundreds of pounds. I reckon if you're like good at cooking or like fairly adept in the kitchen or want some, some really specific tools, this is a good place to go. But I've had my eye on a few things from them for ages. I probably won't get a pan set from them because they are really expensive, but I had a sale on and I had my eye on a knife set on there for ages. So let me show you. I love cooking and it's one of the things I'm like looking forward to the most in our new home. So I got a Japanese knife set. This was actually reduced to 50 quid and it should be 90. So I think that's really good for five knives, six knives. Pairing knife, utility knife, nakiri knife, chef's knife, bread knife, carving knife. I think that's right. I got a black magnetic knife block. I don't like knife blocks that you put your knives in because I feel like they harbor bacteria. I'm sure they don't. I just get a bit funny about them. This fits five on it. So we'll put the carving knife away because we won't need the carving knife. I just hope this doesn't get like super scratched. I also got a few other bits because they were like a pound. I got a sink strainer because I hate when stuff goes in the sink. Um, I got these stainless steel bag clips, you know, for like pasta, crisps, that kind of thing. Um, they were literally like a pound and I got some tongs, they were like a pound fifty or something. I don't actually know how much everything was, but they were all dead cheap. I really like how stainless steel looks. I know it's a little bit like cold and impersonal, but I think as well, if we were to like move again, the stainless steel goes with everything. I also have this giant fruit bowl, um, which is super, super dusty. I bought this in HomeSense like three years ago because I was storing crystals in it. And I figured I will probably use this as a fruit bowl or, fruit bowl, or maybe a catch-all. Um, this was 16.99, the label is still on it. But yeah, I bought this a really long time ago because I just, I love like wooden furniture. I love how it looks. I got these a long time ago. I don't know if you've seen my pink and red stripy jumper that's from Hannah Holden Textiles. Um, she really, really kindly gifted me as well these two table mats and I thought they're gonna be amazing when we move out. They're knitted cotton placemats, like really nice detailing. So I'm really, really excited for those. I'm gonna call it a day there because it's seven o'clock. Uh, Doug promptly organized all his clothes and then fell asleep. He's having a nap, so I'm gonna wake him up. And this is my gardening bag. Um, so I will fill this up another time. I've just cleaned that out because it had loads of shit in it. So I know I said I was done for the evening. It's actually the same evening as the kitchen hall evening. It's feeling really antsy and I thought that I can do two things. I can edit or I can pack and I need to do like something productive because I still had time and I was feeling like I wasn't making any progress even though all of this area up here was full of shoe boxes and it's still quite busy looking but I decided to start on my shelving because I don't use any of this stuff day to day and it's a lot of trinkety ornament bits so I found a lot of newspapers and I packed up a box that you can't see in here because I've moved it but it's a shoe box full of crystals um, and then this is like candles, glassware from my shelves, etc. Just getting frustrated unfairly on myself because I felt like we weren't making any progress. So all of this stuff is just stuff that's like one less thing to do. And it was kind of the things I was dreading. I worked it out and we've got 18 days till we move. So actually we've still got a really long time. I'm just being super organized. I feel like it's very much in my blood to be very organized. I just don't wanna leave everything till like the weekend before. I wanted to show you my prized possession. Doug got me this for Christmas a few years ago. It's so heavy. When I tell you it must weigh over three kilos, it's a ceramic painted pigeon and I'm wrapping this up and I love her so much. Him, I think it's a him. I, I can't wait to put him in my new house. I thought I'd show you this like little cluster of mess in my bedroom because it usually has the pigeon on it and I feel like you don't ever get the chances to see these little like pockets of trinkets that I've amassed. So usually the pigeon sits here and then it's got four of these bracelets. These are my brother's that we got from his apartment. I have a box for sentimental stuff that I'm packing. So these will go in that. 
it's just like a shoebox of everything that's most important to me in the world. I will travel with that in the car. Poker chip, again, from my brother's apartment. A hagstone, I love hagstones, but I can never find them, so my friend found this one for me. Various crystals and chopstick holders that I stole from the Ivy Asia. Celestite, moss agate, very dusty moss agate. Blue lace agate, this is like one of my favorite crystals. This little antique teaspoon I found, I just think it's really sweet. Um, pistachio I can't remember what this is called but it's pistachio something really good for grief I feel like I don't need this anymore clear quartz uh this was like the first ever crystal I ever got it's a labradorite tower it's not very good quality but I didn't know that at the time and then this like banded agate slice but yeah and a few seashells it's very dirty on here I always put like tiny seashells everywhere that I collect it was supposed to be like a blue watery i guess kind of altar with the twin fish my brother was a pisces it had some of his belongings on here it had very like blue and green like seaside crystals so it was just like a little tribute to him that i made so i will disband this and it might not go back up in my new house but these will all have to go somewhere i probably won't unpack them for ages if i'm honest if i'm completely honest i try to go through this cupboard like quite a lot quite frequently and clear it out because i get a lot of pr that i end up giving to friends or it's just too much for someone to go through and obviously i find it really hard to see what's in there because it's so high up i have to rip everything out so i know that there are products in there that are like quite old um and i'm really really bad at throwing like any kind of makeup skincare hair care beauty because i just i just know i'll use it and i'm not gonna lie i used to have a really bad i know this looks bad but i used to have really bad like beauty overconsumption problem and basically now i don't buy anything new unless i'm completely out of like anything in that product so i don't buy conditioner unless there's no conditioner in there i don't buy dry shampoo unless there's no dry shampoo in there so I've been working through this for a few years. I'm quite pleased with the place that I've gotten to. I find it really hard to let go of products that I don't like. Um, I usually give them to friends. But, you know, when you have bought something a few years ago, like th this whole like makeup consumption thing, do you remember, like palettes and stuff? I have some really old, probably expired makeup in my makeup bag that I haven't hit pan on that I probably will never use. I can't bring myself to throw it away and no one wants it. So, you know, and it's just like, I cannot bring myself to throw it away even though I spent the money years ago. So this cupboard is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me to tackle, I think. Like, not mentally, because that sounds really dramatic, but I think it's just gonna be an, like an exercise for me to be decisive. Also, I have to take stuff out that I'm not going to use for the next two weeks, which is fine, like it's doable. Um, but that's just like a big decision. I'm going to go get a bin liner as well because I'm going to throw some stuff away. I feel like I probably shouldn't be using a box of beauty products, but that's just not, it's fragile. I don't know. I'm going to listen to my book while I'm doing this and probably time lapse it. I'm just on the end of How to Kill Your Family and it's been really good. I've got 47 minutes left. I'm trying to figure out if I'll have my period before we move because um, I want to pack away like all the sanitary products but knowing my luck I'll probably get it when we move. I'm not going to risk it, I'm going to pack away the bulk of them but leave one packet of everything out. This is going to sound like so deep but when I, I grew up without a mum and I grew up in a house of, of like only men and my dad is lovely um, but I just went through the natural teenage like stage of being really embarrassed about asking to buy my sanitary products. Um, so. I often went like without a lot um, just because I was just so mortified. It's so silly looking back on it. I would like sneak them into the shop um, and I also like didn't have, I used my spending money on other things, you know, it's so stupid. So I have a really bad habit of like bulk buying sanitary products so I don't ever have to be without them. Um, and the Tesco's ones to me are the best because they're unscented and they're like a pound each. So I get one every time I'm in the shop and I've donated quite a lot of it now. Um, to my work so I work for a women's charity but there's so much in here just from like not realising I think I'll always need them but yeah it's definitely a little bit of hoarding from me a little bit in excess so I'm gonna not buy any until I run through everything I've got. I decided to do my makeup uh, bag and these are all the lipsticks I'm keeping <laughs> they're all too nice and expensive the thing is I wear the same three lip combos but I'm also like 
well, if I'm moving out, I'm not going to be able to just like buy a red lipstick on a whim, you know? This orange that's closest to my thumb, it used to be my absolute favourite, I used to wear it all the time. Shortly followed by that really like true red, that's the Fenty red, like the OG red. I'm keeping those. Right by my wrist is a KKW nude, which is like quite rare now because obviously she doesn't do those lipsticks anymore. I actually got rid of that colour in the middle as well because it's just, it's quite plummy, it just wasn't very me. I'm living in so much regret because I just like really thought that this would be a quick job and it's not been. What's really sad is so I used to work at Victoria's Secret so I've got like hundreds of these mists because we used to be able to buy the testers for like 50p each or something. Um, when they were taken off the shop floor. And so I have loads of limited edition holiday ones that I bought because I loved them in the store. And I used to get loads free on our gratis. And obviously I just like haven't used a lot of them. So that one, which is full, can go to a charity shop. But I also kind of don't want to get rid of it because it's like a limited edition, but I just don't use them enough because I use like proper perfume. But I think I'm going to keep them for now. I'm going to get rid of this one because that's just like not a nice smell to me anymore um but like all of these ones are like really limited edition ones that I absolutely love that I was so gassed to find like a half used tester of so I think I'm just gonna have to like keep them keep one in my bag until I run out of it you know and just like use it every day right I've done that box although everything is just like literally piled in I've just like thrown stuff in it's fine, it doesn't matter. Bathroom's probably like the first thing that will get unpacked. Bathroom is still a little bit of a mess, if I'm completely honest. Rediscovered this concealer, I just really like it. And this colour is a really good match for me. I've been using it just kind of like in lieu of a foundation this week and this has been like a really nice look. Like I just think it blends in really well, although it's a bit pale, so I need to add a little bit of bronze, which we'll do in a sec. Look, it just blends in so seamlessly that one's probably like expired but i've actually done quite a lot of shopping that i haven't gotten on here to do a little haul for you so we had some more kitchen stuff arrive and i've done some secondhand shopping um i wanted to do more but we're doing that the weekend we move in because we can't store like big stuff because there's quite a lot we want to get secondhand so i've done some like secondhand decor shopping i did an order of anthropology last night for something that was on sale We've ordered some kitchen appliances, etc. First time I've worn any kind of makeup in a vlog in literally like months. I need to get better at doing that. Because then I watch the vlog back and I just like hate how I look. I'm really hoping we just don't have that in our new place. For my no makeup makeup, I always try to do a more natural looking blush placement, which is like the front of my cheeks because I don't blush up here, like naturally. Going to the range and we're going to Dunelm because there's ones near Ikea and we decided to go to them first. Only because if we see something we like in Dunelm and the range and we buy it, and we see the same product in Ikea, but we prefer that, we can buy the Ikea one and then return the Dunelm one down in Brighton. And the same for the range. There's not one in Brighton, but there's one in Shoreham and there's one in New Haven. And I think it's easier to make returns down there than it is to go back into Ikea to make returns. I've got like a little white crop top on and blue jeans. And I'm gonna wear my Birkenstocks. The urge to be the most gorgeous woman in Ikea is strong. Growing up, um, me and my dad used to call it Ikea, which apparently he told me is how they say it in Sweden. I don't think that's true. A whole family referred to it as Ikea, including my mum. And I'm assuming that was like a language barrier thing, but it was only like until a few years ago I started calling it Ikea. I had to rush that last bit, but this is me, ready. This is the final look. I've packed my bag, um, chargers, camera bits, etc. Don't really like carrying out that bit around and like leaving that in the trolley when we like go for a wander, but we're just gonna have to. It's either that or like overload this, and I do not want to overload this. Anyway, bye, I'll see you in a bit. I'll text you when I'm... I'll check in when we're in the car. Off we go. My cup doesn't fit in the cup holder and neither does Doug's, so I'm holding two cups. I've made a little coffee. It's not the best angle in the world, is it? Um, I'm paranoid that I'm going to spill my coffee on my neckline. Today we're getting everything we need to get to fill a house. So like cutlery, all of the kitchen stuff, glassware, soft furnishings. Not a huge amount of soft furnishings, I don't think and anything that takes our fancy um but yeah you know like the stuff that you take for granted um I'm not the stuff you take for granted like 
having a garlic press and stuff like that and a cheese grater. Saying on the sat nav that it's going to take one hour and four minutes to get to Ikea, which is a ten. We've arrived at the range. It is 10.30 as predicted. Uh, this is the range in Croydon. I need to burp. Excuse me. Don't make me click that. The main idea is that I've seen the shelving unit online and I want to get like loads of cleaning products here for cleaning the flat um, when we get there because we don't have a lot and like things like mops and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to vlog inside because I get scared vlogging in public, but I'll try. Take yeah. Oh, that's nice. Look at that, that's nice. I'm so overwhelmed. Look how beautiful this is from the range. I'll figure out how to get the trolley upstairs and I think we're gonna have to abandon it at the bottom of the stairs and come back for it because I don't think there is a way because the lift is like only for two people. We found the shelving we want. It was only 25 pounds. So it was 34 online reduced from like 50 so that's amazing this is it wow we got so much stuff we got a bread bin which we needed i wanted one that opened from the front we got a drying rack i got a mop we got the shelving i have such a sense of achievement now i'm just watching doug put the seats down before we go to ikea although i really need to pee i'm in don and i'm feeling as overwhelmed as this child sounds this is nice i want a stool for the kitchen yeah, I like these too. I think for hallway, that's nice. We can definitely find something very similar look, but cheaper, I reckon. We don't have enough space in our living room for this, I don't think, with our sofa, but look how nice this is. Yeah, I love it so much. So we didn't get anything from Dunelm, um, mainly because we're both literally on the verge of fainting because we're so hungry so we're gonna go to ikea now and then get a bit of lunch like we just had no energy and we there's a dunelm quite near us in shoreham and we just thought everything that we would get from dunelm is non-urgent and quite big so we're preserving car space for ikea we're preserving car space for Ikea um, by not buying what we need to get in Dunham, but we took photos of everything. I had literally two things in our basket and one was a set of like orange faux leather coasters that were on sale for a pound that we were getting just because we don't have any coasters. And the other was a method hand wash. And then we got to the queue and it was literally like 30 people long and we just thought, fuck it, like, let's go. Um, oh my God, that scared me. We've arrived and we've got a great space right by the front door, so time to eat because I can't even think about anything else. I am so excited to be here. I'm so excited for Ikea food. We've got vegan, apple pie, cream, garlic bread, stuff like the regular. I'm so ready for this and this and this. We're going to half and half. What do you think? It's nice. I don't like it as much as the dumb. You match the decor. <laughs> It smells like tomato vines in here, it's really nice. What's that fragrance? Nice <laughs> 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 Thanks, 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 Oh yeah, I really like it. Look, this is 35 pounds and I need a little dressing table. I don't like this glass because it gets mucky. I bet you can but I get a cover for it. Yeah. yeah, like a cover or an insert for it. I feel like I'm in someone else's home and I kind of love it. I feel like I'm just snooping around someone's stuff. Oh my God, get in the crib. Look, get in it. What? I have a like a pocket full of peace in an urban space. <laughs> Pantry of my dreams. Look, Doug, and then if we had a little dog, it could just sleep there. I think I want the black one for the kitchen. It's the £35 big one. The £25 one for the bathroom and then the £30 one for the kitchen if there's space. This is actually the nicest bedroom I've ever seen. Come, yeah, look, I think we're going to get this mirror, but I don't think it will fit in the car. So it's £99, which isn't bad. I feel like this looks like my home. <laughs> Jungle Scog. We've got to the market and we've picked up so much more stuff um, and now I'm trying to choose cutlery and it's really hard and I'm thinking Ikea 365 100% getting this for me it's cute. 
that they've got like muslin green up there. You see that really vibrant one? That one. For summer. Struggling to push this trolley a little bit. We've got a wonky trolley. Trolley can. Look, Dad. Trolley can. <laughs> I think we can find nicer ones. I want like a black one. So I want a black one that doesn't have that Why do more. You want black? Just because it's it's classy. This is classy. I think as well, like we need one with a higher grid in the bottom because that would just get puffed up with like shop. You know, like these ones. But there's four, loads of corner units that suction on. I'm gonna get this robe. Oh my god, what let go because it will stick. Oh my god, I didn't even know that was gonna happen. What that it was gonna stick? Yeah. Um, we are headed into another, like, outside of stuff, furnishing bits, candles, pictures and frames. Like, we're into the finishing touches arena. Uh, we've, we've done quite well. We are overwhelmed and worried that we've missed stuff, and I'm embarrassed about filming in public, but it's fine. I think I'm going to get the white. I can't find what I'm looking for at all, and it's not in the right place. That's what I'm looking for, and it is not here. Oh my gosh, you can't get it down now. It's off. <laughs> We're currently taking refuge in a, an outdoor display, trying to decide if there's anything else we've forgotten. Um, I couldn't find any more of that beauty trolley, which is annoying, and I didn't want to stand in a queue to speak to someone at the information point for like three hours. My camera's about to die as well, which is really annoying. I'll change the battery over in a minute, but I feel tired in my head hurts. We didn't buy enough, the car's not nearly fun enough. Otherwise, it's going to have to go sideways. No, I can, I can get her in. I can do it. She's in. We're going to get some food from the cafe um, to take home and to eat in the car and also like some meatballs and stuff, so I'll be back. <sighs> it's, what's time? It's 5.20. I feel like we've been in there for like hundreds and hundreds of hours. Um, I'll just show you what I got from the food shop quickly. I got plant-based meatballs because I really like them, although they were sold out of gravy. <laughs> Uh, dad got his dad some jelly candies. I got my dad some sweet licorice and some salty licorice and some lingonberry jam. And I got a bottle of elderflower cordial because it's really cheap in there compared to like other brands of elderflower cordial. I tried to get some vegan soft serve strawberry and the machine broke when it was my turn. And in my hastiness, I threw away my cup because the machine ate my token. So I didn't get any, but that's okay. Because it was so hot in there, I just wanted to leave. But I feel like that's been a successful trip. We got less bigger bits of furniture. Not than anticipated, because I don't think we were really expecting to get like loads of stuff, because we can't fit a bunch of stuff in the car. But obviously we haven't got our sofa or our coffee table yet. We're waiting for them. And it feels silly to get like other bits of furniture for the living room, like a media unit and stuff, when we don't know the layout of the rest of the room. But I will give you a really big haul when we're home and we've unpacked it all. And this time next week, we'll, we'll be in our new flat. I caught it. These didn't fall out the window. This time next week, we'll be in our new flat. And this is all the stuff in the back. And I won on the guessing how much it was gonna be. Only by four pounds. I still won. Yeah. You lost by four pounds. Found that uh, trolley that I wanted in the end that we can find which was great it was in completely not the right place but a nice man helped me find it so I got the white one and we got so much glassware which I'm so happy about and um, we didn't get anything like wine glasses I'll just explain all this later okay I'll, I'll just check it later um, when I show you everything hello it's the next day I'm sat on the floor to give you a haul because I got home from Ikea yesterday at like seven o'clock and I just couldn't I couldn't face all the stuff we bought I was at absolutely exhausted so we're gonna do a little haul this is not everything i will show you the other bits at some other point because i could only carry two bags up the stairs but everything else is like quite big and chunky so anything flat pack we left downstairs i still have a running list of things that we didn't 
get and it is how many days is until the move it's sunday and we move on friday so we have a few things that are like non-urgent so um like wine glasses we don't have any wine glasses went to a car boot today and a flea market and got some prints but we didn't get anything else because everything else was quite expensive and it was like expensive decorative strawberry vase from the range absolutely obsessed with this i'm imagining it with like tulips inside it i will say that we probably got too much glassware but it's fine because i think we'll use it all and we are really suckers for colored glassware Got this lilac like bubbly vase this is also from the range it came in like a nice green tint but we haven't actually got that much in pink and red yet this is a big plant pot i got for the giant piece lily i bought um i can't remember if i showed that in the video but i bought like a four foot piece lily for by the porch got this teapot that i've literally had my eye on for like two years really really pleased with it we need one of these for teas and stuff of course tea lights as always um we got some like wooden utensils just like a three pack this is all ikea stuff a big wooden spoon i got wooden tongs um this is like under counter hooks you like clip them into the cupboard thank you so much where were those from uh all ikea i got two of these wooden trivets for pots I think these also double as pot lids as well, but yeah, just for the counters. Um, I got this alarm clock. I want to throw away my sunrise alarm clock because it's it's a really like cheapy Amazon one and it's just not very good. Um, and I don't use any of the features on it. So I just got this green one. I might just open this and look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's got a big snooze button. I don't sleep with my phone by my bed, but I quite like to be able to wake up in the middle of the night and see the time. So it's just like a green classic with a big snooze button we went to the flea market today and there was some really nice like vintage rolex clocks um i don't think they're like rolex brand but they're made to look like rolex watch faces for 110 pounds um and doug was the voice of reason and i thought that'll be something i save up for because we probably need to prioritize getting other stuff can opener classic rubber gloves because i only wash up with rubber gloves now and let me tell you my nails my gel nails last so much longer so here's some more glassware we got this green one from ikea which is exactly the same as this clear one it's not a carafe even though it looks like it but i want to put my monstera in this because at the moment it's in a coca-cola glass and then we got this which i absolutely love this is also from ikea and i think that's all the glassware that we got jar opener because i can never open anything i got this pyrex bowl when we did our food shop in tesco today because i do not have any mixing bowls there was like no mixing bowls in ikea which i thought was weird plastic chopping board for meat and other stuff we only had the one and then we got a mini wooden chopping board to go with the big butcher's block chopping board that i got from home sense and then we got the ikea 365 cutlery just because it was like the most bog standard one and i got long handled teaspoons because i eat everything with those the second bag i got a lazy susan um a clear perspex one probably for the fridge it might be for spices um but i haven't decided i also got a robe because my white robe is really stained dirty um it's like yellowed from some body oil or something and my blue robe has been broken for ages so i got a little beige robe yellow just tan and brush loads of these storage bags for like cutting our clothes and our bed sheets um and stuff like that a colander that i don't actually like but it's a good colander it's like big and flat drawer mat you know like anti-slip so you put them like under your pots and pack like you just line your drawers and your cupboards with these bag clips because we never have enough of these a whisk and then so we have french doors out into our garden in our bedroom and we wanted like a door mat or a rug that was like a little bit textured not shaggy so like an indoor outdoor mat for you know just coming in and out of the garden so we got this kind of neutrally beige one it's quite long uh kitchen shears for cutting up like meat and vegetables and stuff uh two extension cords another wooden spoon um one of these like under hook cabinet display things we got some sandwich bags the reusable ones and a baking sheet I want to buy as well some of the Nordic Wear stainless steel eighth and quarter aluminium baking sheets. Um, I feel like that's quite niche. <laughs> don't pull that face at me. They're like the slightly smaller ones so you don't have to put in a big baking sheet for doing stuff separately. 
Um, and yeah, and then what else did we buy? We bought that rolling rack trolley for me, for my bathroom stuff in white. We bought the shelving from the range. We bought some little steps, um, like a little step stool, wooden one from Ikea. I want to paint it like red, I think. I don't know what else we bought. Oh, and we bought these really gorgeous plates and stuff from Darnell, which I can't really show you now because they're all the way downstairs and they're wrapped and everything. But we bought some like teal, like reactive glaze wood fire plates. I'll probably show you them in the next vlog because I don't know how much longer this vlog will go on. We don't really need to buy anything like mugs for the time being because we have loads and we want to get a few things like espresso cups and just like coffee mugs for guests um because we don't really have any like matching mug sets but we figured we just wait because that's our kind of all stuff like people can come to our house and still have a drink of coffee we just won't have like a super nice chic mug for them but it's not the end of the world i want a salad spinner and we are having our kettle delivered tomorrow i got some secondhand stuff which was a lamp and a vintage ashtray that's kind of like everything for now that's relevant that i can show you because everything else is like starting to get packed up Doug's just doing some shoe packing up in the background and putting his shoes into boxes. I'm going to start packing away clothes soon. That are clothes that I won't wear this week. I'm only working two days this week. I'll probably film a little bit more of the packing process when I can be bothered. Good morning. It is one day until we move. It's the day before. It's Thursday. I have a lot of anxiety today. <sighs> Not like proper anxiety because I'm like excited. I'm like trying to differentiate whether it's like anxiety or excitement it's not anxiety that's probably the wrong word it's nerves um just because I like have a lot to do today I'm not gonna lie I've just like had such an intense I've had such an intense week I'm so exhausted I'm not complaining because we're so lucky to be moving and you know all of that stuff and like obviously eternally grateful but like I'm just speaking my feelings for like five minutes I don't know if I've like mentioned it but basically I've got a new job as well but that's like a story for another time um I start my new job I think like the week after we move in or like two weeks after we move in so basically I'm in my last two weeks at work because I've got annual leave off for moving obviously which is really fine I just have like loads of stuff to do at work so I've been getting up at like half six every day to get to work early because I just have so much to wrap up before I finish and a lot of like time sensitive stuff so I've probably gotten up at like half six every day for the last seven or eight days and then obviously we had early starts on the weekend because we were going out to like Ikea and like packing and stuff so I've been coming home and like falling asleep at half nine every evening and today was I knew I had today off obviously and I was like I'm gonna sleep in nothing can stop me and guess who woke up at half seven so I've just been feeling like so tired and so drained um it's fine it's all fine because it will be over soon but you know you just got like are big plans coming up I just know like the next few days are just not going to be restful so I think I'm just feeling very drained very emotional very exhausted I'm just trying to stay in the mindset that we're like super lucky that we don't have to move everything all at once because obviously this is his parents house so like we can just do everything in as many trips as we want I'm gonna try and get most of it done tomorrow but like some things we can just leave here for a bit like we're so lucky overarching messages that we're incredibly lucky I'm not going to complain anymore I'm just I've been really looking forward to today but you know when you're like almost dreading it as well just because I have to get up soon and get into it I'm a little concerned that our mattress isn't going to arrive tomorrow and that we'll have to spend the night here I mean it's not the end of the world if we do but I hope it arrives tomorrow um because I would quite like to spend the first night in the new flat because I don't know if it will get delivered on the weekend and like Doug goes back to work you know what I'm trying to say it will be like kind of annoying to have our stuff in two places um but yeah I've been in bed all morning because I figured I might as well like rest I don't know where I've put my book but I'm reading The Goldfinch by Donna Tart I'm like 150 pages in and it's good so far so today on the agenda is to like pack up kind of like the rest of my clothes start getting things like makeup and dressing tables and stuff like tidy all those like nitty gritty bits that you use every day and pack up the kitchen and like all of our food and stuff but I'll do that later tonight or do the rest of it tomorrow. So I haven't had a chance to show you the plates and bowls we got yet so we got these from Dunelm. We got pasta bowls, plates, cereal bowls, uh, two of this blue colour of each and then we got 
Oh wait, it's not in there. We got this like cream, this one. We got this like cream stoneware color, which is really nice just because I like having a white option as well. So we should have four of everything. There's loads of the cleaning stuff I got. So one for the bathroom, one for the kitchen, um, just a bunch of stuff. Oh, I got this really cute keychain for my house keys because I want to redo my house keys. Uh, like floor cleaner, the pink stuff always, mop heads, one of these kind of more eco-friendly washing up brushes. So we got this glass habitat table from Facebook Marketplace. We are so pleased with it. It's a coffee table. Um, it's like basically new. It's got a couple of scratches on it and it cost us £40. So really chuffed with that. It's originally 280 It's still on the website. And then underneath it, you can see a microwave we picked up. I think we got this from... Argos maybe. I'm honestly like so chuffed with this. We are picking up a, what's it called? A bookshelf. We are picking up a bookshelf tomorrow. It's also a Facebook marketplace find that I can't wait to show you. But yeah, this is just like super sturdy and I really wanted like a funky coffee table and glass wasn't on the top of my list because I wanted something with a shelf under it, but this is just too amazing to pass up. Piles and piles of stuff. So we picked up a bin, um, some like extra towels. I don't love the colors, but I was just so tired. I just said to like grab any colors and we got green and black. I wanted to who black, but the green is nice. The kettle we got that was expensive that <laughs> I chose. This is a rug from Ikea that we got. This is a bath mat for by the sink that we got from Urban Outfitters. That's just for the bathroom. I got a few other bits, so bathroom shower caddy. This only comes with two shelves and the soap dish. I don't think it comes with these. Mop from the range, like a spray floor mop. I can't stop tapping everything with my nails. We got these two prints from a vendor at a car boot. Not usually a fan of like holiday and location prints unless you've been there or it's somewhere local. And we have been to both, well, I've been to Mexico, Doug's been to Vegas, but the prints were just so funky. And I thought as a two, they're absolutely beautiful. So we got this. This is just a doormat that we picked up from Ikea because we needed one. We've got a basket, bathroom bin. This was from Tesco just because it was like four pounds. So I thought, why not? And it's a soft close. Bread bin from the range. We've gone for all stainless steel and there's our toaster. I think stainless steel just looks a bit more like profesh. I don't know. I feel like it's a pain to clean because it gets fingerprints all over it, but I just think it's nice and neutral and it's good for like any future places we might live in. This, which you saw we got from the range. Um, I said it was £24 and we got charged 39 for it. So I didn't look at the receipt, which is really annoying. I don't know if I'm just gonna take the L to be honest, um, because that's kind of what we expected to pay for it because that's how much it was on the website, I think. But I'm tempted to take it to the range that's near my dad's house and ask them about it. But obviously it's a different range. So it might be, they wouldn't know that it was in the store labeled as 24. This is the big piece Lily I got, love her. Really wanna take her out the plastic, but not going to. And then I bought this plant pot from Ikea that I've got her in. These are some random ad hoc bits. So I got these, these are like meal prep containers, which are like the deli cup. So they come in like the big quart sizes, half and then a shallow one, but this is just for like my ingredients prep. Random coat hooks that I thought we could use somewhere a shower curtain. I'm not gonna lie, when we viewed it, I didn't even like clock the shower curtain. And then Doug was like, yeah, it's a shower curtain. I thought it was glass. I just wasn't looking at that. I was so overwhelmed. And that's usually like a little bit of a deal breaker for me because I think it's disgusting. It's not disgusting. That's really an overstatement. I just don't love it. And I think they should hang on the outside of the bath, not the inside. Um, so I don't know if it comes with a shower curtain and even if it does, I'm gonna change it. And I want it to be as non noticeable as possible. So this one is like clear and a little bit frosted because to be honest, it's, I only live with Doug, I don't care. If he comes in the shower and sees me. Small mixing bowl because we got a big one. I wanted these steps. These are from Dunelm um, for reaching cupboards and stuff like that. Cheese grater because we didn't have one. Serving spoon because we didn't have one. And we don't like, uh, what's it called? And we don't like utensils that have like part plastic on them. So I don't like silicone you know this stuff i know this will scratch i know this will scratch the metal but i just don't want plastic on the bottom a tea towel we want nicer ones but we realize we need one for the first instance one thing i'm personally appalled at is how expensive salt and pepper shakers were and these are the only ones i found that i liked that weren't like 40 pounds these were still a tenner each and i need these for the kitchen 
they were a little bit marked and I went to like two down elms to look for ones that weren't marked but they took money off for me and I figured they're gonna get used anyway so they took off some discount we got a baking tray set um a bath mat just like a gray neutral one that's a black hand towel bin bags for the bin these were the glasses that I didn't show you the other day um that we got from ikea we got four of these all in a different color because we both love colored glassware and then i only got two of these i should have got four but i just thought these would be a bit nicer for guests and like for dinnerware just like four tumblers and we don't have wine glasses in the first instance so i thought maybe we could drink wine out of these if we have wine these have a really good hand shape i don't know i didn't think i was going to be that fussy about glassware but I am being and I just don't want to rush it so I think four of these are just good for having drinks out of me and Doug literally only drink out of our pub pint glasses so this isn't like super crucial these are some wooden steps from Ikea that I want to sand down and spray paint red to go in front of the bookshelf so I can get stuff off high shelves I know that's a really specific vision of me but that's just something I really want don't know what's under here but one of them is the Ikea uh, trolley and then the saucepans are in here and I don't know what this middle one is that's everything so far and then there's like plants and stuff to move i am trying not to get like stressed out about all of this i think i'm just like really tired and drained but you know and there's just like stuff everywhere i'm a very i'm a messy person but i know where all my stuff is and i'm like fairly organized i know organized and messy is like backwards but i i don't like living in boxes like i feel quite tense because of it like on edge and like now we're here, I just want it to be tomorrow. And I know I'm washing the time away, but like, I don't like, I've tried to pack and label as much as I can because I don't like not knowing what's going to be in a box. And like, if you need something, I don't like not knowing where it is. So I think that's just what stresses me out. And obviously I haven't moved in like a really long time. Like the last time I moved was to move here. I had like half the amount of stuff I did, like even a quarter of that then. Cause I just threw away everything. I was like 19, I didn't care. I wasn't 19, I was like 21, 22. This is the juiciest peach ever. I'm nervous that the matches won't arrive in time and that we'll have to spend our first night here. And that's fine, because it's like really not a big deal, but you know, when the pressure is on me because I organize a mattress, so I'll feel bad if we can't like even spend the first night we've got the keys in there. Not that it's like a big deal, because it just means I don't have to build a bed that day. We could take our mattress from here to there, but there's just no point in like loading it in the car just to sleep on the floor. When we could sleep in a bed here because we're not taking the bed that's here i feel like i'm just making up things to worry about literally we don't need to worry about this it's fine we're lucky we've got a new home we've got a beautiful new home we've got beautiful new stuff we can afford to furnish it what i'm complaining about right now just like really doesn't matter tomorrow's gonna come and it's gonna be great and i can only control my reactions i can't control the day as much as i would like to i love talking myself out of things i think that this is my anthropology order you're gonna die at how cute this is it's a little pea in a pod salt and pepper shaker can you believe i got this for eight pounds i think it's so cute i just want to sit on the dining room table we haven't even got a dining room table yet but like this is the vibe so i didn't manage to vlog much of today because if i'm honest I didn't really do much today. I'm very much at the stage of packing where I'm like throwing anything that's not nailed down into a bag. And I've like really accepted that we don't need to move like all the nitty gritty bits tomorrow. I like can't really see the wood for the trees. So I just took it very easy today and like consolidated a few bags and boxes of things we've ordered, that kind of stuff. So yeah, my room's a tip. I say a tip, it's a tip for me. You can't see, but like behind here, there's like two big bags of clothes. There's bags of clothes, there's boxes and bags. I just feel like I can't do any more. Picking up the keys at 9.30 tomorrow and we're just going to load a bunch of stuff and me and my cleaning supplies into the car. Doug has a friend that's helping us with like the heavy boxes and stuff. I feel like I'm, I feel like cause I'm quite excited. I'm not going to have like a very good quality of sleep tonight, but that's so fine. I'm going to end the vlog here. I don't know how many moving vlogs I'm going to have. I was thinking three, but it might just end up being two because I think... I'm gonna do tomorrow empty house, uh, empty flat tour, and like the first day of unpacking as like one vlog. And then I don't know if I'll do a vlog three because we're obviously not gonna like get everything decorated like fully to completion because that's just unrealistic. I feel like this is not a secret because I, a secret implies that there's like some kind of like withholding of information, but I think this will be like a really big surprise to you all and. I feel like I've kept it pretty low key online. Like I've posted a few stories of me like homeware shopping and stuff like that. 
but nothing wild. So I really hope that you've all enjoyed today's vlog, no matter how chaotic it is. And I hope you're really excited for the next one. The next one should be up on Sunday, fingers crossed. It's been difficult to not like talk to any of you about it. It does explain my absences on TikTok and on YouTube. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go because I'm rambling. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. I have no idea kind of what it looks like yet. I feel like it's probably a bit chaotic, but we all seem to say I have very calming energy despite my chaotic internal monologue. So hopefully you enjoy it, whatever the vibe is.